coming in kind of heavy and fast. She's going to drag me in the water because... Big teeth and a big old jaw and a big old jaw. So he's got one in there going that way and one going this way. So we're going to get that out somehow. I'm going after this alligator. It's in Coral Springs. It's like 20 minutes away. So hopefully we can catch up with this guy and get him out of here. All right, so this is actually a good surprise. Usually you get a gator that's supposed to be 10 feet, ends up being five feet. This guy's supposed to be like six or eight, and he ends up being probably closer to 10. So let's see if we can bring him over here. Oh, he's coming. Okay, look at that. I think I can cast on him here. I'd rather not, but he's coming in kind of heavy and fast. I'm gonna mute this. Let's see if we can stop him in his tracks. Eh, maybe he's not. Right over the shoulder. I think if I hook him, he's gonna drag me in the water. Because I don't have a lot of. I gotta slow this drag down. He's I'm running out of line. <laughs> He's strong. That's a good gator right there. That's a strong gator. I gotta start bringing him back because he makes another another run like this. I'm gonna. He's gonna either break the line. I never, I never trust a knot on the. Uh, on the end of the reel. So, I gotta start bringing him back. Make a couple of those runs, I'll be okay with it. See the bubbles out there? That's where he was going to the bottom, trying to hide from all the nonsense that I'm putting on him. Yeah, this is a tough area because the wall drops straight down. All right, he's making another run. I'm trying to slow him down with my hands too, because I don't want to. I should have restrung this line a while ago, so I'm I'm risking him popping off. It's a nice run though. So we get two good runs. We start bringing him in. He'll make two or three more, and should be in. Well, there he goes. Got dragged down even more. We're going. He's right to the end of that. This line I trust 100%, but not when it's worn out like this. Good news for me is he's been down the whole time, so. He's gonna have to come up and get air after all these runs, and when he does, that's my chance to get him up and over the ledge here. And all this grass is a pain in the butt, but once I get him up in it, if he starts rolling around, he'll almost weight himself down with it. I can feel that line on the rocks right now. 
Oh, I brought them right to the edge again. What's happening is I'm reeling him up onto the top of that ledge. And when he feels that against his back is when he's starting to run again. So I'm kind of playing a waiting game right now because if I keep sawing back and forth, I'm going to cut the line on the coal rock. I might pick up shop and walk over to the left here. It's a little more shallow over there. Oh, he's making a nice thing about making another run. I'm getting wet 100% in this one. I can see this already. As soon as he comes up for a breath, get him back in here. He's, he's running his line down. I don't want him to go too far, so I'm going to stop him right now. Well, I guess I'm getting wet. That's why you always wear dry shorts and wool socks because you can step on anything with these jokers. All right, I think I'm off that ledge. I think I got a straight line to him right now. All right, here we go. He's, he's off the ledge. I still got a lot of line out, but he's still way out there. I'm dragging him through some, through some junk right now. I feel like he should be coming up for a breath, but he's not. That must be shallow or something, I don't know. This is the last day for this line, whether it breaks or not. And he's probably 15 feet in front of those bubbles. Those bubbles are coming up from probably 15 or 20 feet, so it takes a while to get up there. So he's a lot closer to me than you think he is. He should be coming up, which I don't have the catch pole, so I'm gonna see if I can. Get a look at this beautiful boy. All right, he's facing away from me. Look at that beauty. How you doing, Bubba? You're okay. <laughs> he's like, uh, I want to leave, but I'm really tired. I gotta get him off that ledge. Keep him off that ledge. Get up in this shallow stuff, son. You come up here. That a boy. You stay in this crap. Get weighted down in. I'll figure out how to get you out of it. He looked bigger. He's actually a nice. He's a nine footer, but I'd like to get my hands on him. Yeah, he's tired. He's a yeah. He he's got nothing left. He's out of gas, but. I'm just gonna tie this off. Welcome to Holiday Park, son. Oh, you got something stuck in you. Somebody's been messing with you, it looks like. Looks like he's got a tag or something in him. I don't know what that is.
not a good look for you, I'm telling you. That rolling thing, just not, uh, I don't know. What is that thing? I gotta find out what that is sticking out of you. You got some beautiful big teeth and a big old jaw. And a big old jaw. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Sorry. Ugh. That's that strong opening power again. Oh yeah, there's something in here. I'll show you in a second. Oof. Dude, you got, you got crazy power in those jaws. Yeah, there's a metal. This guy ducked. Ducked somebody good. Good for you, dude. So there's the end, that's the shaft of the arrow. If they were trying to catch him, he death rolled and popped that and tipped. There are little metal ends that kind of fold out so it can't come back out. So he's got one in there going that way and one going this way. So we're gonna get that out somehow. On the grass, so he's not really gonna do any damage to his feet. All right, get in the truck. Yeah, he's nine, nine three, but thick. So here's our boy. Got him in there, nine three, thick, 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 and healthy. Got to get that broad head out of him, and uh, he'll be good to go. You're all right, son. Open up. Drag him forward. Don't let go. You got it. Of course, we have pants on. Okay, so what I would like to do is we want to try and get an x-ray out of nothing like a 30 pound lead apron on a 95 degree day. <laughs> Doc has portable x-ray machines. So cool. So cool. Imagine that like on the fly like that. Oh look at that. Nice. Here's what I told you. Can you make that full screen? Yeah. We're gonna try to get this gator. Doc Mater lightly sedated him. I'm gonna put him on this board that I used to get a to get a big gator out of a construction site. Still had it, put it back together. And uh, I don't have any rope that'll fit through, so I'm gonna use power cord. And I'm just going to put blankets over his back so the power cord doesn't dig into him in case he, uh, in case he fights. So you want to uh, make sure he's held down so nobody gets hurt, including him, most importantly. But you can see exactly what happened. Somebody shot him, thought they would get a nice trophy gator. They probably reeled it in, he went into a death roll, snapped that rod, broke off the line. My
So all we're doing is tying this guy down so if he gets a little squirrely during the operation, he doesn't uh, hurt one of us or himself. And the only reason I'm using the blankets is because the parachute cord's a little narrow. I don't want it cutting into him. Yeah, and I'm just going to loosen. Okay, if you want to put your finger there real quick for me. Anybody, Mark? No, let me try it, tighten it again. There you go. Yeah, it's kind of hard. Okay, sorry. No, you're good. I mean, if he exhales, it's gonna get loose anyway. So we yeah. don't want it to be super, super tight. Right. We're good. Grab it with this. Just yank just it. Yank the whole thing. All right, here we go. Could get ugly. No, it's not gonna. I got the best held holders here ever. See if, I can, see if I can straighten this out a little bit. Give you an angle. Maybe if you try, if you try to rotate it. Yeah. Okay. Other. Yeah. yeah. There you go. He feels it. Yep. Hundred percent. He's only feeling the pull. He's yeah, but you're you're pain. inverting that wire, so it's gonna come. It's gonna come out. Yep. So you can see the wire bending. This is awesome. This is awesome. Got it. Nice. Get your pictures. Okay. Right. And then we're gonna give him a shot of antibiotic. And this is when we do the cool part. Good job. Nice. Nice. Oh, you just showed up. That is awesome. Let me get some antibiotics. We're done. So, how much sedation is he under right now? He's not anesthetized. He's just so sedated. Good. George Nunn. He just acts like that all the time. <laughs> Holly, how do you feel? I'm pretty stoked. We didn't have to. I thought at first we we're going to have to cut this whole skewed out because this thing went in there and those wires invert so it doesn't pull out. But because he's so big and sturdy. Doc was able to just wiggle that and those wires just bent back and he's going to be 100%. Um, you see there's all kinds of mud and stuff on the end of that, that tip. Blood, all dead blood and mud that's just jammed in there. Could get infected, but now he's going to be good to go. We're going to shoot him some antibiotics and down the road. So this is an antibiotic and it's a long acting antibiotic that will actually last about five to seven days. And so that's for any infection that might be related. They don't get tetanus, like, you know, if a person steps on a rusty nail, they have to have a tetanus shot. Well, this is analogous to that because it's a spearhead in the muscle. But fortunately, reptiles don't get tetanus, so we don't need to treat for that. So we're just treating for potential infection and they give them some pain medicine because we don't want him to be uncomfortable. Even if he is an alligator and he's been around for millions of years, I don't like any animal feeling pain. Okay. People are a different story. They can feel a lot of pain. We're okay with that for some people. The guy who shot him, we're okay if he feels a little pain. Yeah, I don't have a problem with that. Too much easier when you're not moving. So he's, he's, he's good to go. We're gonna leave him on the board for transport. Just be yeah, easier that way. So we're all done, um, Paul, and everything went well. Thank you for your help. It's always comfortable working with you guys. I feel very safe. Um, use your judgment by tomorrow. If he's up and alert and active and wanting to eat you, put him in the water. If he's somnolent, quiet, maybe keep him out of the water for one more day. Right. I'll leave him in the van in the AC. And yeah. Well, if you leave him in the van with the AC, he gets too cold. He won't metabolize the... Well, I'm not going to crank it. Just enough okay. so it's about 80 degrees. That, that'll That's be perfect. Like. Yeah. Cool. Okay, but you've Sounds seen good. this enough times that he's going to be fine. Yeah, I appreciate okay. it. Always a pleasure. Thank, Thank you, sir. Yeah. No, this is fine. This is fine. I'd rather walk it so if he goes crazy, I can stop him. Got the bolt out of his back. He's pumped full of antibiotics and painkillers. So he'll probably be feeling pretty good right about now. We gave him some time to let that sedative work through his system when he feels like it. We go out here with the rest of the boys out in this uh, water hyacinth. And uh, yeah, he'll be good. He likes to eat apparently, so he'll be happy here. <laughs>